Alrighty, my friends, so welcome back to the phonics portion of our day. So, of course, today we're going to go ahead and blend and segment phonemes. We're also going to substitute phonemes and make new words. We are going to touch on our daily vocabulary boost. We are going to listen for words that have the H or K sound. We're going to um, read a story today, and we're going to learn about drawing conclusions based on listening to what's happening in the story. And of course, we're going to work on letters and sounds. We're going to um, do our eight sight words along with all the other sight words. And then, of course, we'll also do our make-believe words. All right, so with that being said, here we go. Let's go ahead and do letter. Go. H, B, J, G, Z, W, o, C, N, O, F, E, T, R, M, G, L, X, Q, V, K, A, P, U, Y, S, I. Very, very good. All right, friends. Let's go ahead and see what our eight sight words for this week are. Remember, we will, there's five new ones, and we add three just to keep us um, working on sight words we've worked on before. All right, there. And in the word there, we have the word the, and we also have the word here and her. Do, down. Mm -hmm. And in the word down, we also have the word own. Only, went, when, and in the word when, we have the word Hen and the word he said and away. And in the word away, we also have the word way. We, okay. oui. but now must a no. So could see like is with. They, how, came, them, play, up, are, find, to, I, he, that, on, from, who, give, what, over, some, she, then, good, her, Say your new make was all of soon you oops into me for where the eight fear many by me and the this come my Go, will. Wow. Friends, that is a lot, a lot of sight words. Keep practicing all of them, my friends, and I guarantee you, the more you practice your sight words, the better readers you're going to be, okay? Because as you know, when we're reading, you notice that there are so many sight words in everything that we read, okay? All right, let's go ahead and do our make-believe words. Remember, with make-believe words, we're looking to read 15 or more words in one minute. So we're going to work on just reading the word. However, if you're having a hard time with that, then just go ahead and do the mm, as, maz. Okay, if you can't just see the word and know what it says. So parents, we sent home some nonsense words, uh, a practice sheet 
So just work with your scholar and see what works best for them. Okay? All right. So here we go. Maz. It. Fat. Peb. Beck. At. Jack. Tob. Jock. Mock. Zox. Pig. At. Lux. Wub. Were. Lut. Bob. Back. Tick. Vim. At. Ab. Zop, gim, pack, tap, jiff. Very, very good. All right. So let's go ahead and this way. Let's go ahead and do our blending and segmenting of phonemes. Okay. So I want, I'm going to say, I'm going to say some sounds I want you to blend the sounds to tell me what the word is. So listen, p -a -t. what is my word? Pot, good job. All right, so here we go. p -a -n. what is my word? Pan, excellent. k -it. what is my word? Kit, good job. b -a -g. what is my word? Bug, excellent. All right, so now I am going, we're going to flip it around and I am going to tell you the word and you will tell me the sounds. The word is pot. What are the sounds in pot? Mm -hmm. Pot. Good job. What are the sounds in kit? Mm -hmm. K it. What are the sounds in pan? Mm -hmm. What are the sounds in bug? Bug. Good job, friends. All right, so now let's go ahead and substitute phonemes to make a new word. So listen to this one. My word is sock. My word is sock. Change the s in sock to lock. Very, very good. All right. My word is sit. My word is sit. Change the s in sit to hit. Very, very good. All right. My word is dock. My word is dock. Change the d in dock to er. Rock. Very, very good. Great job, friends. All right. My word is let. My word is let. Change the u in let to n net. Excellent, friends. Great job on that. All right, so now I'm going to challenge you, and I want you, what we're going to do is I'm going to say a word, and then I'm going to take the first letter out, and I want you to tell me what word is left. Okay, so listen to this. My word is van. My word is van. Take the v out of van, and my word is an. Very, very good. Good job, friends. My word is fit. My word is fit. I'm going to take the f from fit, and my word is it. Good job. My word is rat. My word is rat. Remove the er in rat. My word is at. Very, very good. All right, let's go ahead and review some vocabulary boost. What sounds does a cat use to communicate? Mm -hmm. Meow, meow. Very, very good. They meow. If you are in a good mood, what does your face look like if you are in a good mood? Show me. Mm -hmm. You should be smiling if you are in a good mood. Is a scent something you see or smell? Is a scent something you see or smell? Mm -hmm. Something you smell. Do you need air, water, or both 
to survive? Do you need air, water, or both to survive? Yeah, we need both. Well, definitely we need air because we need to breathe. And we need water to what? Yeah, we need water to drink. Yeah, all right. All right, okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to show you my poster here, friends. And we're going to listen for words. If you hear the, see which sounds you hear, if you hear the or the k in our words, okay? All right, so here we go. All right. Hen, hen. Do we hear from Hattie Horse or do we hear from Callie Kangaroo? Hen, hen. Uh -huh. Hi, very, very good. The H. Okay. Next one. Key, key. Do we hear Hattie or K? Callie. Uh huh. K -k -k. Okay. Next one. Kite. Kite. What sound do you hear at the beginning of kite? Or k which one? Uh huh. K. Good job. All right. Hat. Hat. What beginning sound do you hear in hat? Uh-huh. Good job. Kitten. Kitten. What beginning sound do you hear in kitten? Aha. Uh -huh. Very good. Finally, hammer. Hammer. What beginning sound do you hear in hammer? Aha. Uh -huh. H. Very, very good. All right, friends. Let's go ahead and oh, let's read our little picture cards really quickly. All right. So here are our new sight words. Okay. We sit down to paint. Yep, we're painting. All right. A dog can do lots of tricks. Oh, how cute. This girl went swimming. Ah. Oh, look at this one. How cute. Only one kitten is out of the basket. Oh, how cute. Do you see a fish hiding there? Do you see a fish? Oh yeah, look right here. Here's a fish. It's pretty sneaky. It's truly camouflaged, right? All right, so let's go ahead and read today's story. Move this over. All right, so today's story is titled Chameleon, Chameleon. And it's written by Joy Cowley and photographs by Nick Bishop. Oh, and look how beautiful that chameleon is. And this is my title page, Chameleon, Chameleon. Look how beautiful. And of course, here is our table of contents. And it is letting us know that the story, Chameleon, Chameleon, is on page two. And of course, it's an informational text. We're going to learn some stuff 
but we're also going to work on trying to draw conclusions as to listening to what's going on so we can kind of figure out what's going to happen next. That's called drawing conclusions. And then on page 32, we have a second story titled Amazing Animal Bodies. So let's go ahead and read and see what happens in our story. So let's look at the picture first. Okay. The chameleon rests in his tree. His skin has peaceful colors. Okay. Beautiful. It almost looks like his skin is made out of beads. Looks like tiny, tiny little beads and tiny little colored water droplets. He wakes up hungry for a juicy insect. He looks this way and that way and he's looking for a juicy insect. What kind of insect do you think he might eat? Yeah, okay, maybe a fly, a bug. Let's see. Oh, no food, no food. He must find a new tree home. Oh, no, so there's no food where he's at. So he's got to find a brand new home. Slowly... The chameleon climbs down the tree. Step. There he is walking very slowly. Step by step. And chameleons walk really, really slowly. Step by step by step. He stops. Is something hiding there? Ooh, I think you can see pretty well. Look here, friends. You see this outline right here? I'm going to kind of go over it. You see that? Is something hiding there? Let's see what it is. A gecko! The gecko looks scary. But it will not hurt the chameleon. So look here. This gecko was hiding. He was camouflaged and he's hiding from predators. So although he looks scary, he will not harm the chameleon. Step by step, the chameleon creeps to the ground. So he's finally made it down to the ground from way up above on the tree. He looks this way and that way, watching for danger. He's making sure that there is no one around that is going to harm him. Because remember, he's now on the ground. Why don't you just love his colors? Let's see what happens. What is this? It is a tiny chameleon. It is not dangerous. And look, why is this chameleon Brown. Ah, you're correct. He is camouflaged. What is that? It is a tiny frog. The frog will not harm him either. So the frog isn't going to harm him. The tiny chameleon isn't going to harm him either. So, so far we have run into animals that will not harm the chameleon. Something hangs from a low branch. 
suddenly, it jumps. So look here, friends. I'm going to show you the outline. Okay, so right here, it almost looks like it's a leaf. See that? Suddenly, it jumps. Another gecko. Here's a gecko, and the gecko is also camouflaged to the color of leaves to protect itself from predators. The gecko will not hurt the chameleon. The chameleon moves on. So there he goes. He keeps going. So far, he's run into two chameleons. He ran into, what else did he run into? He's run into a gecko and a frog. And all of them have not been a threat to him. What's this? A scorpion. Watch out, chameleon. The scorpion stinger is poisonous. Ooh. We got to watch out because that is poisonous. Let's see if that will harm the chameleon. Carefully, the chameleon creeps past. So absolutely, he has to be very, very careful. Otherwise, that scorpion will strike. So the chameleon is being very, very careful. At last, the chameleon finds a new tree. He is safe again. He climbs up slowly. It's taken him a while to get to a new tree. He climbs up slowly, step by step by step. So here he goes, going straight up. Hopefully, something good will happen. Why, why did he move? What happened? Aha, uh -huh, he's looking for some food. Remember, he woke up hungry. Is there food in this tree? Yes! The chameleon sees a big caterpillar. Oh, oh. There definitely is food, and a caterpillar is an insect. Look here. That's his tongue. And zap! The chameleon has caught the caterpillar. Wow. Look at that, how long his tail is. I mean, his tongue is. Oh my gosh. Oh. Chew, chew, gulp. Something is watching. Another chameleon lives in this tree. Her skin is dark with angry colors. Go away. <sighs> Ooh, this chameleon is not happy. Why is this chameleon not happy? What happened? Ah, so yeah, maybe this chameleon stole her lunch. Oh no, let's see what happens. But the chameleon greets her with bright colors. He's saying hi using his very, very bright colors. She sees that he is friendly. She welcomes him with pale colors. So see, now her colors are starting to change. They're getting a little bit lighter, so they're not dark, which shows that they're angry. So the chameleon showing her 
his bright colors, he's saying, hi, I'm, I'm your friend. Let's be friends. So then she's like, okay, I guess I can be your friend. Two chameleon friends. There he is. Have happy colors. And look at there's her color. She's using pale colors. So now they're friends and neighbors. Oh, here's a lot of different information that maybe I could read it to you on a different day. The that really was an awesome story, friends. And yes, of course, we learned that other type of insects or animals won't harm the chameleon. Which, which one will? Which insect will? Oh, the scorpion, yes. But all the others were a-okay, right? All righty, friends. So when I see you guys today for ELA, make sure that you bring your graphic organizer that was provided you with your materials. Okay, so I'll see you guys in a bit.